What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. So, hey, me and Chris have been looking for an efficient way to save our bait for future trips. And I think after a lot of research, we fell upon extreme bait tanks. I reached out to Damon, the owner of extreme bait tanks. This is not a paid plug guys, but again, we've been doing a lot of charters and we're just looking for a way to efficiently store our bait. So that way we're not having to go and catch it with each trip. I think we did find it with this extreme bait tank. This is a 65 gallon with twin recirculating pumps. This thing is awesome. So me and Chris did some engineering. We're working out all the kinks. Now, this may not be a perfect system yet. Hey, drop your comments below. You got some better suggestions. Make sure you watch and see how we got it all set up. Maybe someone has a better technique and we're open to hear that. But anyhow, again, we reached out to Damon he has a solution for all of your bait tank needs, guys. He does custom tanks, various sizes for the mobile guy, pier fishing, whatever it may be. In this particular instance, we're on the dot. We're trying to keep hundreds of baits alive for weeks at a time, or at least a week at a time, because it is for our charters. And if you're interested in booking a, an inshore charter, my information will be down below. Make sure you check it out. Fishing is on fire right now. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump in take a closer look. I'm going to show you what we got going on here <laughs> So after spitting some ideas with Damon and me and Chris doing some internet research We went to Home Depot and bought this ever built uh, Two-in-one utility pump. This is a quarter horsepower It brings in about 15 gallons per minute and then we also went and put a ball valve right here we got a ball valve PVC, which will allow us to restrict the flow of that water. So that way, if it's too fast, we can slow it down or vice versa. We bought some small three quarter inch PVC with some elbows. Talked to the plumbing guy. Chris did a lot of talking with the plumbing guy at Home Depot. And this is the, what we decided to come up with guys. So along with the pump, now keep in mind, there's two recirculating pumps, which I'm gonna show you inside this tank. I'm only gonna run one plus this pump to bring in the fresh water with a constant water flow. But we, uh, right here, this hose comes with the pump. As you can see, it wasn't very long. So what we did was we took an additional hose and we ran that to this check valve. See that here? And this shows you the flow on this check valve. Well, what this will do well, anyway, I'll tell you what this will do in just a second. We ran the, the hose down here, and this also comes with the pump. It helps filter things, keeps big things from being sucked up, and then blocking up and going into your bait tank. But this right here, this little um, pro line check valve, this, this actually helps prevent the water from coming back out of the well. So say the pump stopped, this would prevent it from just pouring out or dumping out because as you can tell, we're running our PVC from the bottom of the tank. So it'll be drawing the water up, the pump will be pumping it through here, and then it'll be flowing up, bringing the water up to where it'll actually pour out of our overflow system here. Now, we haven't glued anything uh, or made it permanent because we were testing it. And if you follow me on TikTok, Salty Scales, you probably know that because we posted a couple videos. And we have been a lot more active on TikTok, guys. They're actually the algorithm showing uh, our viewers our videos. So it's been a pleasant change. All right, so we got our primer, guys. Little PVC primer. Again, you pick that up at Home Depot. Let's take that, rub it around as PVC. And what you do is you take your PVC cement and go right above or right over that. Go ahead and pop your PVC on. Oops. Make sure it's the right way. That might be important. All right. Then what we're going to do is do that at, to each joint. But once you do this, guys, it's pretty permanent. So make sure you got it about right where you want it because it ain't going to be moving after a few minutes. I mean, to me, that looks pretty good. How about you, Christopher? 
Yeah. The good news is that's really all there is to the PVC and the gluing and the priming. But another thing you want to do is on your threads, you want to take some thread tape. And this will help keep everything tight. I've already put it on this fitting. We'll put some on here. And I'm not going to go ham with it, but that'll help keep it tight. All right. Hey. <laughs> We're close to showtime. All right, I got my Extreme Bait Tank, 65 gallon tank. I got all my PVC set up. This is based off of how me and Chris Dummy placed everything on the dock a couple days ago. We got a Everbuilt quarter horsepower uh, utility pump. And again, you can use this a, diff a couple different ways, a transfer function or a utility function. Uh, it pumps 15 gallons per minute. We got a ball valve here that we decided to include. Uh, um, Damon is, is who recommended this. This will help increase or decrease the flow of the water. So if we want to slow it down, give our bait a reprieve, we're able to do so. And then this runs off to the hose that came with the pump. We got an additional hose because it wasn't long enough. And then this goes to this little uh, Proline three quarter inch check valve. So this will help allow the water to flow up but if something were to happen that this pump stopped working and stopped flowing this would prevent the water from flowing out and then our research would still keep the bait alive until we got over here to notice that the pump was no longer working this runs to a short thing of hose down to our little filter that comes with the pump as well are you guys ready to see this work or what i'm excited and then of course we'll once we get it the water flowing we'll add the lid and who knows, I've been seeing a lot of bait around here. Maybe we'll throw the net and go ahead and add a, our first bait to our 65 gallon extreme bait tank. I have pump, let's go. All right, so it took a little bit to get it primed. I ain't gonna lie, we fiddle farted around with that for 30 minutes. And I think that's one of the downsides to our setup. So like I said, if you have a recommendation, send it below. Make sure you give a thumbs up if you like what you see, but check it out. We got one, re Got you. Got you. I won. There he goes. Right there. So, no, look, it's flowing more, Chris. You see this? We're probably going to have to slow the flow now. See how it's starting to come up over the lip? Yeah. All right, guys. So, hey, check it out. It took us about 30. To 45 minutes maybe an hour to get this thing primed chris did a lot of work on it and that part maybe is a flaw in our system design here so if you got a suggestion comment below let us know we're open to hearing what you got but anyway we got one circulating pump running right now i got the generator running we will have the extension cord running to it so it's running off power got the double recirculating pumps you got your filter bags down here and again, I'm only running the one pump because I don't think it's necessary right now to do the two. And I'm not trying to tire out the bait sooner than we need to, if you know what I mean. But it works beautifully, as you can tell. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna do a little series on this to get this thing perfected. And uh, hopefully you'll walk along with the experience and we'll figure it out together. Again, I'm looking forward to hearing you guys' comments. Uh, Damon, I think, has set up code Salty Scales on his website. That'll save you a good percentage if you buy one of his tanks. Uh, I believe that's the code. If not, check back on the next video. I'll make sure it's right then. But the link will be down in the description, by the way. But hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Until next time, hey, make sure you're booking a trip. Let's go fishing.